Hello folks, Ron Whitmire here. Today I, I want to talk about a very specific type of one of the OSHA Fatal 4 uh, incidents, and that is being caught in a trench or an excavation. This is a subject and a type of hazard that uh, is very uh, important to me because it was involved in one of the very first cases I was involved in as a young lawyer under the supervision of a senior partner. It involved a construction worker who was down in a trench about eight feet deep when that trench collapsed, uh, buried him and he had no chance. Uh, he died and left a wife and two young children. An employer must take protections for workers working in trenches and excavation sites. And because this is such an extreme hazard, OSHA uh, has very specific regulations about what an employer must do. One thing an employer must do is designate what's called a competent person to inspect uh, trenching. That competent person must be trained to identify different soil classifications, must be trained uh, to use uh, the various protection systems for workers for trenches and must be trained in the OSHA standards for trenches. Now a competent person must also be trained to recognize safety hazards involved in trenching and excavations and be authorized to take immediate corrective action once he or she identifies a safety hazard. OSHA has specific standards depending on uh, the type of trench that's involved. For trenching that is deeper than five feet and less than 20 feet, OSHA requires workers to be protected by sloping, shoring, benching, or a trench box. Any of those worker protections would have saved the worker uh, whose case I was involved in uh, early on many years ago. OSHA has a specific trenching uh, safety saying they say slope it, shore it, shield it. And also OSHA requires that there must be a safe way for workers to get in and out of trenches or excavations. Now for trenches that are deeper than 20 feet, OSHA specifically requires that a professional engineer design the worker safety protection uh, system involved. For a worker, if you're going down into trenches and excavation sites, please get OSHA training so you know what safety measures are required and what are available and do not enter a trench without uh, proper worker protection systems in place. Folks, if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email. Thanks for your time and watching this video, and please stay safe and be well.